There is not much else that annoys me more than being asked to be patient. Would you agree with me on that? Being asked to be patient is annoying, especially when you are really wanting to do something and you are unable to do it. And someone comes and say, be patient. Just the other day, I was wanting to watch the soccer game and I turned on TV and I went to this app, a specific app that allows me to see the game. And when I turned on to the place and this, the game started to play and then out of a sudden, I was like, be patient. The program you wanted to watch will start really soon. And then it gave me 230 seconds countdown. I was not happy. I was wanting to watch it right there. Want to be patient? And then the thing, the TV goes and asks me to be patient. I, 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 let me tell you, I was frustrated. And that's how we are most of the time when we are asked, when we have to wait, and when we have to be patient. Jamie in the verse above gives us an imperative. He says, be patient. It's an imperative, it's a command. This is not some advice, uh, it's a command uh, making this crucial for someone who wants to live a life that honors God. Someone who has a heart that is intact, firm, established for the coming of the Lord Jesus, which, by the way, is a hand. The Greek word translated here, patient, is a compound word. It is a combination of two Greek words making one powerful punch in the gut. The word is makrothumeo, meaning long-suffering. Macro means long, and thumos meaning wrath, anger. Together they mean to suffer long, be long-suffering, to endure patiently as opposed to losing faith or giving up. This makes patience very important. Making patience the, the space between perseverance and giving up. If you don't have patience, you will give up. It seems so simplistic, but also so complex at the same time. Complex because to be patient means to be able to suffer for as long as it takes. No one likes to be patient in waiting. That's why we go to McDonald's. We don't like to wait for the food to be cooked. We can just go there and get it right away. James gives us three pictures of when we need to be patient and why we need to be patient in chapter 5 to encourage us to, pay, to participate in this God-given characteristic. If God is patient and God is kind, so must we be. James starts by using a figure, uh, a figure of speech. He uses a farmer. He says that like a farmer who waits for the harvest, we must endure whatever is going on in life, trusting God with what we cannot control. A farmer cannot determine when it will rain and when it will not rain. So you know, uh, all the injustice, all the pain, all the difficulties you are facing and looking for relief and, 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 and the resolution of it all, like a farmer who trusts God with what he can't control, you also must trust by enduring in your faith, not giving up, be long-suffering, all while honoring God with what you can control. The farmer doesn't just sit at home doing nothing. He works and works hard. He's active doing what he can control, and he waits patiently on the Lord on the things that he can't control. After having done all that he can do, so must we. We must be like a farmer. Do what we can control, and we trust God what we can't control. The second picture that James paints to us, he uses as a, as a figure of speech, but he uses the image of a prophet speaking truth. We must be like a prophet in the middle of persecution who stood up and spoke the truth against injustice. He spoke in the name of God when the world was living and acting against godly principles. And he finishes the examples with Job. Job, who in the midst of such, so much pain and suffering, often have done nothing wrong, patiently hoped to understand God's purpose for all that he went through. Job endured. He didn't give up. 
and saw the perfect and pleasing outcome of the Lord, the purpose of God in all that happened to him. Talk about long-suffering. Job is a great example of that. The farmer, the prophet, and Job is a great reminder for all of us that whatever you are walking through in life, we ought to do what we can and trust God with what we can't control. That we ought to stand for the truth of God without fear. That we ought to embrace God's purpose in every moment of life, even if difficult ones. And we ought to do this by honoring God, by not allowing the world and its methods to shake our faith and to, and to point us to a point of giving up. This all ought to remind us that whatever we are going through is not the end of the story. We must endure and not give up. When the, the end comes, it will then reveal that the Lord is indeed very compassionate, merciful, and loving. You can't see it now, I know. But be patient. Stand in the truth. Hope in God's purpose and not giving up in doing good for at the right time you will receive your reward.